I don't know where you guys live, but where I live right now, it is hot as I don't know what. Hey, so I don't want to use my oven, so I got a recipe for you. You guys read that title, so you know what I'm making. I'll get ready to show you guys how to make it. You know what? This is just an easy beef and broccoli recipe. Get your rice, put this on top. Hey, listen, I'm not going to over talk it. We finna get right into these ingredients, put this in the crock pot, and we finna let it cook. Okay, so you guys see these are the ingredients, right? So I'm gonna just say, look, we'll start with the broccoli. Look, this is the fresh head, you know, broccoli. We're gonna go ahead and use the, you know, the fresh, right? We're gonna cut it, trim it down. I'm gonna show you guys how I do all of that. So look, this is the broccoli, cause we're gonna have about, I don't know, about three cups. I don't know, we'll just figure out what it looks like with our beef, right? Okay, so we got broccoli. Here we got a large onion. This is a couple of teaspoons of uh, cornstarch. This is gonna be key right here. This is gonna be our thickening agent. We got brown sugar, which is a quarter cup. Right here, we got sesame oil, sesame seed oil. This is a quarter, look, this is a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce. That's it right here in the green. Anywhere that I can, you know, like use anything that's low soy, that's what I'm gonna do. Excuse me, anything that I can use that's like low sodium, that's what I'm gonna substitute. Cause listen, we gonna start watching our salt intake. This right here, that's a half a cup. And then right here, we got a quarter cup of oyster sauce. That's what this is right here. This, listen, oyster sauce, soy sauce which is the low sodium and then right here the sesame seed oil this is what you guys need to have like in your cabinet especially following me because listen these three ingredients right here well, i'm gonna be using these quite often now this right here we got fresh ginger just two teaspoons of fresh ginger and then this right here this is beef broth and when I, uh this is three quarter cup beef broth obviously look it's beef and broccoli right hey so it's a no-brainer and that right here that's it Usually I use like a pound and a quarter, but this is like a pound and a half of uh, chuck roast. You know what I mean? Already cut down. Listen, I'm not going to uh, fake it. I had my local uh, butcher shop. They did it right there at Stater Brothers. So look, these are the sizes that you want. It's really up to you. These are the sizes that I'm using. You know, you can cut them down how you want to. And then of course we're going to be using a cast iron skillet, right? We're going to use that to brown the beef. So let's go ahead and make this happen. Okay, so I'm bringing my cast iron skillet up to heat, right? I'm using a medium high heat because what we want to do is we want to uh, brown. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop these in here now. We'll just move this around and let's just go ahead and add just a little bit of olive oil. Now you guys can add any cooking oil that you like. You know what I mean? This is just so to help it brown quicker and to keep it from sticking, you know? So just to get it coated, moved around, make sure we got something on the bottom. Now, make sure every piece is just out and flat. And then we go from there. Now, look, we multitasking, right? So as our beef is browning, what we're gonna do is, we, let's just go ahead and remove the top. So let me go ahead and get me a spatula. And what we wanna do is we wanna put all of our ingredients in here. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this and cut it get these, uh, gar you know, get the garlic cloves ready, but we're gonna put everything else inside of here. So I'll just go ahead and add my soy. There we go. This is why you want to have the right tool for the job. You know, it makes it just much, much easier to just get all of your ingredients out of your bowls. Brown sugar. And now we're going to go with our beef broth. Now, now for the garlic, let's just go ahead. I'm going to smash them. You know, peel them. Then we're going to drop these in there also. All right, we save the cornstarch because we're gonna put some water with this. We're gonna add two tablespoons of water. This is gonna be our thickening agent. So we'll save that back. Now let's go ahead and get this onion together. Let's check on these. Let's check on this beef. It's browning good. We're not trying to cook it. Look, that's what the crock pot gonna do. We just wanna put some of that color on there. And I like this, just flipped them over, looking at all the sides. And I say, hey, we'll just go ahead and cut these off. Now, let me get this peeled. Let me get this cut. Now, I'll just go ahead. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down like that. 
we'll cut it in half. We'll just start off like this. We'll just call this like we quartered this large onion, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half also. And we'll just go ahead and just put them in here like this. Now, let me go ahead and move this over. Now, even my, you know that, uh, when you saw me put the uh, brown sugar in there, it has just, you know, dissolved, but I like to still give it a stir. You know what I mean? Listen, this is gonna cook down. You know, these onions are gonna be nice and soft. Hey, everything about it is just gonna marinate together and it's gonna be right. Now, let me go ahead and grab, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my, my beef. Now look, we didn't want to cook it, we just wanted to brown it. You know what I mean? Uh, control your splash. Sorry about that, you guys. But look, we'll just add this to it, just like this. We'll put this back. Now, I'll just give it a little stir right now. And what we're getting ready to do is set the timer. I'm gonna put the hood, the, uh, the lid on. We're gonna set a timer. I'm gonna cook these kind of fast. So I'm gonna do the four hour method, but don't forget, you guys can go four hours on low, I mean on high, or you can go eight hours on low, either or. Okay, so now we just turn the power on. We're gonna go with a high cook, right? The high cook, that equals what? what I tell you guys? Look, that's four hours, right? If I wanna do low, I would've hit that button there and I would've increased that. You just double the time, but we gonna go there. I'm gonna hit start, and now we cooking. Okay, so look, now we're getting ready to cut the broccoli. I cut the broccoli like right before it's done, right? So what I do is I take the fresh broccoli and you can see I'm just cutting off one of the, you know, the stalks or the flukes, you know, right off of it. I don't use that big main stump. Then you can cut them down, you can cut them in half. It's really up to you how big you want your broccoli to be. You know, you can cut some of these smaller pieces off and then cut that piece off too, but that's actually a good piece. But that's the size that I like right there. Okay, you just see me cut these. Look, this is perfect right here. The size is really up to you. I like them kind of like big, all different types of uh, sizes. It just makes it look even that much better. Now, my timer just went off on my crock pot, right? So look, we're done with the four hours. Now, what I'm gonna do is, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take that cornstarch, right? We're gonna add two tablespoons of water. Let me do that. I just put it in. I'm gonna use my whisk, and we're gonna just whisk this together. You know, get it all mixed up, get it combined. Make sure we got all of those little cornstarch pockets, you know, done, you know, broke up. And this is gonna be our thickening agent. We'll just do it like that. Try not to make a mess like I'm doing. All right. So, once we got this done, right? Okay, so look, now what you wanna do is, you wanna check it. This is, you know, we're looking at it for the first time after, you know, the four hours, right? So listen, I stir it up. And then look at this right here. Check it, take a look at that onion. Oh man, this right here is gonna be awesome. Now look, I take my wooden spoon and I just like check, this, you know, for tenderness. That right there is to my liking. So now I go ahead and grab my cornstarch slurry. Remember, this is our thickening agent, right? So look, once you add that in there, you wanna mix it up. Once you gave it a good mix, then we're gonna go ahead and add our broccoli. Now when it comes to adding our broccoli, look, there's two ways you can do it. You seeing me doing it this way, putting it in here, and I'm gonna kinda like give mine a semi stir, cause I like to get the flavor on top of that, and I like mine to be a little bit on the semi soft side, right? But you can put your broccoli on top and just let the heat and steam cook it to your liking. But remember, the beef is already done. Okay, look, it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and take this off. Look at that right there. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I'm finna, you, you know what I'm about to do, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and just get, my, get myself a little sample. Look at that right there. Super easy, we didn't have to run in the oven, so we didn't have to heat up the house. You know what, we finna get this. Let's go ahead and put this in a bowl over some rice, but I'm finna sample this right now. Okay, so went ahead, put some rice in my bowl. Look, this is a lot of rice, because this is a big bowl, right? So let's go ahead and get us some right now. Look at that right there. Ah, yeah. Now, I wanna say this. You guys, when you put your broccoli in, so after you put your thickening agent in, right, and you stirred it all up, you could just put your broccoli on top and let the steam from the, you know, from your crock pot, you know, cook your rice. But for me, I mean, cook your uh, broccoli. But for myself, this is what I like to do. I like to stir it up and cook it inside, and I like my broccoli a little bit more on the light soft side. But that right there, I'm gonna leave it like that so you guys can see. And that right there. Hey, listen, this is a this is a big man's bowl right here. We finna get down. Now, 
Let me go ahead and give me a little rice, you know, with it, a little broccoli, and a little bit of this beef. Okay, so check it out. Here we go. Oh, it's nice and hot too. Mm. Oh man, this right here is just right. I got to go back in here. And that sauce, hey, everything that it rendered down, man, hands down, you better tell them. AB's restaurant, you know what I mean? Hey, it's coming. Mm. <laughs> now, check this out. I always start off, or, you know, sometimes I'll say, hey, it's not every video, but I usually say something like, look, I'm not gonna try to sell it. Hey, this right here, don't, I don't have to sell it, it sells itself. So check this out. You don't have to go out, get that takeout. You're talking about 15 minutes, right? When you multitask, while you browning, you put everything else inside of your crock pot. After you finish browning, you put it in there and then you start cooking. You can't beat it. 15 minutes of prep, you know, if you go out, most people are probably gonna do it on high anyway. You know what I mean? So four hours and 15 minutes. Let's just call it four hours and 20 minutes. And listen, you serving something good. Hey, so with that being said, I'm, you know, I'm gonna hurry up, hit it again, you know what I mean? And uh, get my portion. Hey, so let me just say this. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, right? And you tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I'm about to get out of here, folks. For those who've been following me for a minute, I'm out of here. Hey, but this time I'm finna grab it like this, put my fork in it, I'm out of here. Peace.